Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all the titles that I picked up in the month of August, so stick around. So during the month of August, we had a lot of new releases, a lot of store exclusives, um, and just a lot of titles being released. So I did pick up quite a bit during the month. So I'm going to show you these by week. So during the first week, I got Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, this right here is the 4K release with a slip. And then we had the release for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I got the Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. I got the Blu-ray um, Slipcover Edition, which I really like. I got the 4K Slipcover Edition. I got the Disney Movie Club Exclusive Slipcover Edition. And I got the Walmart Exclusive. So I guess we didn't get a Target exclusive, which is kind of odd. Um, I did get the Everything Everywhere All at Once um, A24 store exclusive. Um, the book. I got the 4K release for that. Then I got River Wild. Really enjoyed this one. Very happy to have this one in the collection. Um, really enjoyed that film. I got Nefarious, which I was not a big fan of. Then we had the 4K release for Enter the Dragon. I got the still book for that. I also got Asteroid City. The Blackening still book release. Invaluable. Um, this right here is the um, Blu-ray release from Synapse. About My Father. Assault on Hill 400. Um, Maggie Moore's, which I'm not sure exactly what that's about. And then we have these Silver Disney 100 Steelbook releases. I got Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, and Frozen. And then I got Force of Evil from Kino Lorber. Um, Duran Duran, A Hollywood High concert um, documentary. I got Razorback um, from Umbrella. I got The Big Lebowski. Um, this is the Universal Essentials collection with the 4K. It's a nice little box set. Then I got this beautiful looking still book release for it. And then we have the Two Guns 4K release with the Best Buy exclusive still book. And the Slipcover Edition. And then we have the release for Nightbreed on 4K. So nice to have that one. Um, some guy who kills people with a slipcover. And also I got um, Opera 4K um, box set release. Okay, during week two, I got the Angry Black Girl and her monster. I've heard some good things about this one. Can't wait to check it out. I got Night of the Assassin. I've got season one of 1923. I got Ender's Game 4K Steelbook release. Then the big release for this week was um, Fast and the Furious X. So I got the Target exclusive, the 4K with a slipcover, and the Best Buy Steelbook. And I got Enter the Dragon 4K with a slip. I'm not sure if this was week one or week two. I know I showed the still book in week one. I got Swamp Thing on um, the MVD Rewind Slipcover Edition Blu-ray. And then I also got the 4K release with a slip. Different artwork. I got Satan's Little Helper um, box set. The Truth About Women. The Wrath of Becky DVD release. Hopefully we'll get a Blu-ray release for that. I got the um, box set here for this. It's got um, all those films down there at the bottom included with it. And then I got the four film Noir Classics Volume 2. I'm sorry, Volume 3. And then we had the big release for these retro slipcovers. 
So I got Rambo 5 Movie Collection, Highlander, The Gate, The Lost Boys on 3 Film Collection, The Mist, The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, Smokey and the Bandit, and I got Beethoven, the complete collection, with all these films included. It's a DVD release. The Land Before Time, five movie collection, DVD release. Free Willy. So here's a four film collection with all four films on DVD. And then the Scooby-Doo Monster Movies collection, with all of these included during week two. So during week three, we had a lighter week. We have Confidential Informant with the slipcover. It's got Mel Gibson in it. Um, I got William Shatner in Impulse. Is Paris Burning, Kino Lorber release. Roman Holiday 4K release with a slip. August Underground with a slip. Passionate Stranger. Rattle of a Simple Man, The Only Way, The All-American Boy, Jack Armstrong, Cisco Kid, Western Movie Collection, One Fine Morning from Movie, Primetime Panic 2, Wrong Reasons, Hotel Transylvania Transform Transformania, and from Readiness Films, I got this box set. Okay, during week four, we had a huge release week. We have Promising Young Woman 4K release, Elizabeth 4K release, The, um, the Night of the Hunted. Spirit Halloween with a slipcover. The Rape of the Vampire. Pretty Baby from Kino Lorber. The Nightmare Before Christmas with a slipcover for the 4K release. And the Steelbook from Best Buy with the Silver Disney 100. And the regular Blu-ray slipcover edition with this new artwork. Also this week we got You Hurt My Feelings, A24 release, Hardcore, Kino Lorber release, um, Coma from Shout Factory, uh, got this box set um, from, from, Radi um, from Radiance Films, I got um, Metalocalypse, Army of Doomstar with a slipcover. I got The Legend of Zorro 4K release with a slip. And I got The Blackening 4K with a slip. I'm not sure if it was released this week or the previous release where I showed the still book, so I do apologize. Um, Hackers 4K release still book. And then we got the Chucky releases. So we have Bride of Chucky 4K release, Cult of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky. And that's why I got my Chucky shirt on. Um, from Eureka, I got Buster Keaton Three Ages, The Skyhawk, from Readiness Films. I got A Moment of Romance, and from Arrow I got Weird Science, 4K release, and then yet again this week Walmart had more exclusive, so I got Spiral from the Book of Saul with a slip, so all of these are our new slips, Tyler Perry's Boo, A Medea Halloween, The Mist, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Texas Chainsaw, 
Candyman, Day of the Dead, Scream 4, American Psycho, 31, Ca um, The Cabin in the Woods, Evil Dead 2, and Saul. Okay, and then the last week of the month, the fifth week, we got the release of The Flash. Um, got the 4K slipcover edition, the Blu-ray edition with the slip, the only at Target exclusive with the art cards with a different slip, and then I got Battlestar Galactica 4K release with the slipcover, and also I got the Steelbook release from Best Buy. And then um, for the Flash, I got the Walmart exclusive Icon Edition. We have Hustle and Flow from Paramount Presents on 4K. Taxi Hunter. On um, this right here is from 88 Films. Then I got the Flash 4K Steelbook release. Then I got Bloodsport 4K Steelbook release. Also, I got the Media Book. And then I've got this box set from Eureka. Journey to the Center of the Journey to the Center of the Earth from Seven Kids. Double Impact from 88 Films. City of the Living Dead. The Music Romance Six Movie Collection with all of these films included. It's a great way to getting all those films. From Imprint, I got Blue Car, Mrs. Parker, and The Voice in the Vicious Circle, Searching for Bobby Fisher. Also from Imprint, they have these really nice box sets. We have the Film Focus with Jennifer Connelly. And in this box set, it does come with these three films. So Career Opportunities, Waking the Dead and House of Sand and Fog. And then we also have the film focus for Jessica Lang. Another great box set, which comes with these great films. There's four in this set. We have Francis, Crimes of the Heart, which I really love, Music Box, and Losing Isaiah, which is another great one. And then some other releases. We have Wichita from Warner Archive. We have Elvis in Spin Out from Warner Archive. We have Staying Alive 4K release with John Travolta. No Hard Feelings. And we got Babylon 5, the animated movie. So those are all the titles that I got during the month of August. Like I said, it was a huge month with a lot of releases. Um, hopefully things will start dying down a little bit in September. Um, to help kind of catch up with everything. Um, but hopefully you were able to get all the titles that you wanted during the month of August. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. And also let me know some of the titles that you picked up that maybe I missed out on. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.